हेलो फिजियोस आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू अवर चैनल फिजियो विद्यापीठ इन दिस लेक्चर विच इज द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ अल्ट्रा वायलेट रेडिएशन वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द फ्लोरोसेंट लेंस ओके आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू एड दिस पार्ट इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर बट इट वॉज ट्वेंटी टू मिनट सो आई डिसाइडेड टू मेक अ सेपरेट वीडियो ऑन इट सो दैट इट डू नॉट बिकम अ लॉन्ग वीडियो फॉर यू ओके In this, we will study our fluorescent lens and thoracic tunnel along with uva apparatus. Okay, so my name is Vijay Kumar, and let's start the topic. Fluorescent lens. Okay, it is relatively easier as compared to the as compared to the mercury vapor lamp. Okay, the problem with mercury vapor lamp was the production of short UV. That is UVC. okay as i have explained you in the spectrum of mercury vapor lamp there was uv ir and visible and there was a and b majority uv but small amount of short uv that is uvc which is not good for us that is for the treatment we use the uva that is long wave uv so we want to eliminate this uvc to eliminate this we made the fluorescent Lamp to overcome this problem, we use the fluorescent lamp. We use the fluorescent lamp, which have a low pressure mercury discharge tube. It is same with this is important with the phosphor coating inside. Okay, it have a tube which is one twenty centimeter like this, like this. There are tubes in it. Okay, one twenty centimeter length, and inside the coating is phosphor. What is the use of this phosphor? This phosphor absorb the short UVR and emit it as the long UVR. Along with it, it give a fluorescence. Okay, that is the bluish white. We can say bluish white appearance is given. Okay, so you can understand it like this. That this is the tube and inside it have the coating of phosphor and now this is the atom of phosphor this is electron yes this when the, when the uvc fall on the electron when this uvc fall on the electron this is uvc when this uvc fall on the electron this electron get excited to higher energy level and when this electron move back to the lower energy level it give uva it give uva that is the long wave uv okay that is the long wave uv okay so this is the main mechanism which is converting the short uv into long uv and first of all the main point is that all flow this uh, this point is important all flows and lamp emit visible radiation that is bluish white light when the tube is operating but this bluish white light is having no relation with the uv why because uv is invisible this this bluish white coloration is due to the fluorescence produced by phosphor only okay uvc is not colorful okay uv is invisible i have explained you in the first point of the first video okay so uvc is invisible but if you ask that why the color is bluish white it is due to the fluorescence ya yeah, fir uh, or the property of fluorescence of the phosphor okay simple so to overcome this problem we use the fluorescent tube which have a low pressure mercury discharge tube with phosphor coating this phosphor absorb short uvr and cause the excitation of phosphor emit phosphor atom and re emit the long wavelength okay and the wavelength also depend upon the temperature while the optimum temperature is about 40 degree celsius for the optimum for the optimum emission okay then output uh, so the output can be now the output what is output output can be uva and uvb both partially or only uva as in uva so this is an again important start point so there are two point first is wavelength the particular wavelength and amount of the particular wavelength and amount of each emitted radiation depend upon composition of phosphor also the emission depend upon temperature okay output depend upon temperature and output is we can say 
for maximum or optimal output the temperature is about 40 degree celsius okay temperature is about the 40 degree celsius so and this output can either be partially uv a and b or only uv a as in the cuba okay each cube is 120 centimeter made up of special type of glass which allows the uv a to pass from it okay uv a that is long wave uv to pass from it a low pressure a low pressure arc is set up inside the tube uh, tube end and this process of ionization is same that whole ionization process is same as in the mercury vapor lamp there is no change it is used for generalized irradiation again an important question it is used for the generalized application that is by using the Theractin tunnel or Kuba filters all fluorescent lamp emit visible radiation that is bluish white when the tube is operating but this uh, this bluish white appearance have no relation with UV why UV itself is invisible this is due to the fluorescence property of phosphor okay then all fluorescent lamp have slight falling output uh, during their working life uh, in this the reason is that because some of the fluorescent tube use the less stable phosphor okay so they can only be used up to 1000 hours the line is simple and that some fluorescent tubes have show a drop in the output why because they are made up of unstable or the less stable phosphor so it can be used up to the 1000 hours and then we need to replace it forced air cooling and air conditioning if we uh, give the air cooling and air conditioning to this then power output is good and again it become very comfortable for the patient ok then it is used as teractin tunnel and two operators which I will explain in the next part of this video ok so this is whole about the fluorescent lamp simple you need to understand that it is made of a 120 centimeter tube phosphor coating is present inside what is the use of this phosphor absorb the short uv and re emit the long uv which give color color is bluish white it is due to the fluorescent property of phosphor not due to the uv white because uv is invisible ok then output depends upon temperature also and what is the optimal temperature optimal temperature is 40 degree celsius ok i forgot to line, uh, uh, write the line that time output also depends upon the temperature and optimal temperature for a better output is about 40 degree celsius ok then general irradiation and use less white theractin and if it is made up of a less stable phosphor it gives the output only up to 1000 i hours and then we have to take a new fluorescent lamp now we will study about theractin tunnel and ova apparatus so now we are studying about the theractin tunnel so as you can see it consists of a semi cylindrical frame okay so which has four fluorescent tubes and each of the tube is having its own reflector so that the whole of the irradiation is occurring toward the body okay so in this uh, therapy or the in this method of treatment the patient uh, get the treatment in two halves that is in the first first half the anterior aspect of body is treated that is the patient is in supine line and in the second half the patient is in prone line so that the application occur on the posterior part of the body body is treated in the two halves treated in two halves ok then there are total four fluorescent tubes now important is that as we know there is UVA, UVB and UVC. UVA is 400 to 315, uh, yes 315 nanometer, this is 315 to 280 and this is 280 to 100 nanometer, yes and this can give us this output that is 400 to 280. To this is not given ok so only UVA and UVB is given so the output is 400 to 280 nanometer or there is an another type of theractin tunnel which give only output of 311 nanometer or around it you can say that 
और अराउंड थ्री वन वन नैनोमीटर ओके थ्री वन वन नैनोमीटर दैट इज यूवी ए ओके यूवी ए इज ओनली गिवन अराउंड द थ्री अराउंड द थ्री वन वन नैनोमीटर ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट द थेराक्ट इंटरनल नाउ वी विल मूव अबाउट टू आर द ओवा अपरेटर्स इट इज अगेन वेरी सिंपल एज द नेम सुजेस्ट सोरल इन यूवीए इट इज यूज फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ सोरियसिस इट इज यूज फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ सोरियसिस वी नीड लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ यूवी ए दैट इज गिवन बाई ओवा ऑपरेटर्स एंड यूवी ए इज थ्री वन फाइव टू फोर हंड्रेड नैनो मीटर ओके अलॉन्ग विद यूवी ए सम विजिबल रेडिएशन इज गिवन विच इज ग्रीन एंड ब्लू ओके फ्रॉम द यूवी ओनली यूवी ए इज गिवन एंड सम विजिबल दैट इज ग्रीन ब्लूश कलरेशन इज सीन दैट इज विजिबल दैट ट्यूब आर माउंटेड इन अ वर्टिकल बैटरी ऑन दी फोर साइड ऑफ बार ओके इट इज लाइक दिस दिस इज